Now tracking the stop uh, story this hour, which is of course in relation to the excise scam, days after the CBI had conducted raids at the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's residence, the Aam Aadmi Party has now given a political colour to the entire row. Arvind Kejriwal's Man Friday, Mr. Sisodia, yesterday levelled charges that the BJP tried to split the Aam Aadmi Party from within and claimed that the BJP also offered him the post of Delhi Chief Minister if he agreed to jump ship. And not just that, the Amadmi Party has also claimed that they have a recording of the said chat because the BJP had came out with a challenge that show us the number who was that BJP person in question who had made that offer to Manish Sisodia. Now it remains to see up to the Amadmi Party to actually bring out those proof and those charges that are being leveled by the BJP or now will there be a fresh war of words that will only escalate further. पार्टी तोड़ के बीजेपी ज्वाइन कर लीजिए और हम आपको सीएम बना देंगे क्योंकि हमारे पास में कोई सीएम कैंडिडेट नहीं है वहां पे दिल्ली में भारतीय जनता पार्टी में इनकी सच्चाई तो मैं जानता हूं क्योंकि ये सारे केस फर्जी हैं मैं एक ईमानदार आदमी हूं इनफैक्ट मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की टीम में हूं ही इसलिए कि मैं कट्टर ईमानदार आदमी और रही सीएम कैंडिडेट बनाने की बात सीएम बनाने की बात तो मैंने स्पष्ट किया कि मेरा सपना सीएम बनना नहीं है now, the Bharatiya Janata Party has completely rubbished the claims made by Mr. Sisodia, accusing them of uh, trying to lure him to jump ship and join the BJP. The BJP has said this is nothing but a desperate attempt on the part of the Ahmadmi Party to deflect attention from the specific questions asked of the party in relation to the excise policy. <laughs> फॉर्मूला बहुत सिंपल है जिस पार्टी को तोड़ना है जिस सरकार को तोड़ना है सबसे पहले उन पर केंद्र सरकार की अलग अलग एजेंसियों को छोड़ दो उनके ऊपर सीबीआई का केस करो उनके ऊपर ईडी का केस करो उनके ऊपर इनकम टैक्स का केस करो उसके बाद भारतीय जनता पार्टी जाके उनके नेताओं को ऑफर देती है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी में आ जाओ सारे केस बंद हो जाएंगे तो एक तरफ धमकाया जाता है और दूसरी तरफ लुभाने का प्रयास किया जाता है कहने लगे कि मेरे पास एक संदेश आया है भाजपा का मैं इतना ही कहूंगा जिनकी नियत खोटी है सोच छोटी है उनको कोई क्या तोड़ेगा आपका अहंकार तो दिल्ली की जनता तोड़ रही है all right, so those were the war of words because we have been seeing Siddharth when there was a press briefing on part of the Amadmi party. In fact, Manisha Sodia came out first saying that there has been an attempt to buy him out, saying uh, that the BJP certain uh, leader approached him saying that we will take back all of your cases from the CBI and the ED, but only the compromise that you have to do is you have to join the BJP. Now, this is also coming at a time when Arvind Kejriwal's cryptic tweet last evening said that the operation Lotus in Delhi has failed. Absolutely, Amita. And uh, the question that the BJP has been asking uh, all through yesterday is if you indeed have sufficient proof at your disposal that somebody from the BJP tried to lure you to switch parties, then produce that proof, put it out in the public domain like you said you would. The Amadmi Party is yet to do that. Absolutely. So Arvind Kejriwal is going as far as to say that someone as acclaimed at Susodia should be actually awarded with the India's highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratan. ऐसे व्यक्ति को तो भारत रत्न मिलना चाहिए मनीष सिसोदिया को गलत तरीके से सताया जा रहा है उनको अब तीन चार दिन में इनको गिरफ्तार कर लेंगे गिरफ्तार एक मिनट गिरफ्तार करने का क्या नतीजा होगा तीन महीने चार महीने तक शिक्षा व्यवस्था सफर करेगी किसके फायदे में है ये पूरा केस फर्जी है किसको फायदा होगा हम काम रुकने नहीं देंगे लेकिन थोड़े दिन के लिए बाधा तो पहुंचेगी 
We've been joined right now by Bhaptosh Singh for all the updates in relation to the investigations pertaining to the excise policy. Good morning uh, to you, Bhaptosh. Of course, the political war of words continues uh, in the background, but purely specifically uh, dealing with the CBI's course of action from here on, what can we expect in the days to come uh, over its investigations into Mr. Sisodia? Well, as far uh, as CBI is concerned, uh, Siddharth, uh, CBI yesterday had questioned a businessman, Samir Mahindru. Uh, he is one of the few who has been repeatedly questioned uh, since uh, Friday, since last Friday when uh, uh, raids and searches were carried out and CBI made its uh, FIR public. Uh, Samir Mahindru is managing director of uh, director of a liquor company, and he's been accused of uh, giving bribes to people said to be allegedly close to Vinish Sisodia, and the bribe amount ranges between one to four crore rupees. Uh, Samir Mahindru's uh, official reaction has not yet come, but uh, sources within CBI have said that uh, he was called in for question uh, questioning, and uh, for nearly six hours. He was questioned at CBI uh, headquarters. Now, uh, what is very interesting, uh, Siddharth, is the very fact that Samir Mahindru has, was officially in 2008 named as a prosecution witness in a corruption case, and his testimony led to conviction of uh, two officials uh, of Delhi government. Uh, but CBI has said that is an unrelated case, uh, case, and this is a different case in which he has now been named as an accused. Right, but Bhavtosh, uh, because citing apprehension, uh, Arvind Kejriwal has been saying that next could be the turn of Manish Sisodia who could be arrested because he's been named along with those 15 people and entities in the FIR registered by the CBI. Bhavtosh? Uh, yes, uh, Amita, uh, as far as uh, the allegations, counter allegations, claim and counter claims are concerned, uh, that is very different from uh, a probe uh, by an agency, by any agency, whether it's CBI or ED. But remember, uh, CBI has been questioning several people uh, since uh, Friday when they have made uh, uh, its FIR uh, public. And uh, CBI has said that the first round of questioning of uh, private individuals will get uh, completed very soon. Uh, they will. Uh, examine their statements and uh, only then they will call public servants. Now, when this will uh, get over, uh, only uh, CBI knows and they have said that they will start calling public, uh, public servants. Now, two uh, government officials were yesterday suspended by Ministry of Home Affairs. Uh, uh, this includes uh, the ex- uh, Commissioner of uh, Excise, uh, R.M. Gopi Krishna. Now, CBI has said that uh, obviously anyone who has been named in the FIR will be called in for questioning. Now, all eyes are uh, when uh, Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, Manish Sisodia, will be called in. But as of now, a tight lip, uh, CBI is very tight lipped. Uh, it's also expected that maybe today uh, the enforcement directorate right. might register, formally registered a case of money laundering right. in this excise case. Right, Bhavtosh, I request you to stay with us uh, because the BJP also, of course, held a very detailed press conference yesterday. It was chaired by Gaurav Bhatia, where they again drew attention to the specifics of the alleged irregularities in the excise policy. And the BJP has, in fact, cited recommendations of a committee that had been constituted by the Ahmadmi Party led government in Delhi uh, and where the Ahmadmi Party, according to the BJP, ended up flouting uh, some of those recommendations that were made uh, and did not incorporate some of those suggestions in the excise policy, which eventually, according to the BJP, led to a loss of almost rupees 900 crores to the state exchequer. Ye कि 10 प्रतिशत जो है वो लाइसेंस फीस को बढ़ाया जाएगा रिन्यूअल पे यहां पे और बड़ी एक लूट हुई सिफारिश को आपकारी नीति में लाया गया और लिखा गया Add 10% to account for year on year growth, 10% of clause 6, 6 may, you have known a bataya, kaise revenue hoga. Or is ke saath unhone kaha ki 10% badni chahi hai. Lekin, jab isko lagu karne ki baat hai, dabaav mein aate huye, kahi hamari ye kali kamai rukna jaye. ये 10 प्रतिशत जो है वो लिया ही नहीं गया इससे अनुमान है ये करीब 900 करोड़ रुपए का नुकसान राजस्व को हुआ 900 करोड़ रुपए
So these were the documents were presented by Gaurav Bhatia today when he addressed a press conference and my colleague Mohit Bhatt has managed to access the two sets of documents. One is the, the suggestions, the recommendations that were put forth by a committee that was set up by the Aam Admi Gov Party government itself in order to change the existing excise policy. Second is the one that is cited by the, uh, by the BJP as the set of rules that were eventually implemented. Now, what is the difference? Number one, the recommendation in the document put forth by the BJP said that wholesale distribution should be kept with the government entities themselves. According to the BJP, what happened when it came to the implementation was that wholesale distribution was handed out by the Ahmadi Party government to the private players, by implying thereby that the profit that would have come to the government instead went to the private players. Recommendation number two, that the retail vending should be given out using a new lottery system. What this eventually would have meant was that there would be transparency, there cannot be any bias if there is a lottery system that is, up, uh, that is utilized, that is put to use here. What happened, according to the BJP, is that Aam Admi Party government, instead of using what would have been a more transparent method, they chose 16 companies and decided to give them two zones each. There was each. There was no lottery system involved. The third recommendation that also was uh, incorporated but not implemented was the provision that there should be a 10% hike at the time of renewal of license. Uh, this is the license fee. So they said that you should increase the license fee by 10%. What happened instead, according to BJP, is that while this provision was incorporated in the new policy, what the government did was they never collected this money from the, the liquor traders, which, according to Gaurav Bhatia, led to a loss of around 900 crore rupees to the exchequer.